That's what's left of the output transformer. I thought I would challenge myself and try to uh, rewind it. Primary and secondary. See if I can get a better match to the uh, Type 41 tube. It may a bit off more than I can chew. Alright, I'm still kind of scratching my head trying to figure out why I decided to do this. But, uh, you know, it's always fun. You learn something. And if I'm not successful, no big deal. At least I'll uh, still be a learning exercise. Uh, to recap, real quick, I'm going to do a rewind the existing transformer, 28 to 1 turns ratio. That gave us an impedance ratio of 784 to 1. We already said that's too low, not a good match for the uh, voice coil of the existing uh, speaker in addition to the Type 41 tube. So um, what I did though, you can see I've got the uh, laminated iron pieces here, and I've only got a uh, window to work in of 19 millimeters. So i got to make sure the girth of the new transformer doesn't exceed that. So um, here's the existing transformer windings. Uh, just to let you guys know, there's uh, roughly 1,960 uh, windings there on the uh, primary side and 70 on the um, secondary side. So we've got a total of 2,030 windings there. That will uh, make your eyes hurt for sure. Anyway, my new design to get to a uh, 44 to 1, and again, I'll just you know strive to hit that number. It's no big deal if I don't. If I'm uh, even 37, 38 to 1, I think I'll be just fine. That would give us an impedance ratio of 1936 to 1. Now, if you do the math, what I'm going to shoot for is uh, 1980 over 45, which is the same thing as 44 to 1. But I'll have 1980 uh, windings on my uh, uh, primary side and uh, 45 on the secondary side. So you can see I've cut the secondary side back some to uh, match the uh, 44 to 1 turns ratio and hopefully hit the impedance ratio of 1936 to 1. And you can see the uh, total turns of uh, uh, 2025. So I'm really, really close to the original uh, design. And hopefully I can wind this thing uh, nice and tight and I can fit it inside this uh, 19 millimeter window that I have to work in. The uh, primary will be uh, 36 AWG. There's 22 individual stack layers, 90 turns each, you know, across the uh, uh, coal former for a total of 1980 turns. So that's what I'll shoot for. The secondary side 26 AWG 45 turns and I've completed that by hand. We'll use the uh, my little uh, coal jig that uh, I built and uh, try to do this one on camera if uh, things work out. So uh, you guys can see the uh, secondary at the conclusion of the video. And stay tuned if you're interested in seeing me, uh, you know, just take everything apart. Uh, you can see the steps there as well. Thanks again for watching. Work these uh, laminates loose here. here of the uh, laminates here behind me. Just keep uh, removing them uh, one piece at a time there. And uh, we'll be able to get to the uh, core here in uh, just a few minutes. Unwind this and uh, see what uh, the makeup of the transformer looks like. Alright, you can see where I'm at right now getting the laminates off and when I got to this point in the transformer, you can see the part number here for reference so we can know which side is facing up. This is the way the uh, pieces came apart. So these are grouped together and uh, same here. So I can just pull these out.
you know you guys can see there's a starting plate here for the uh, other piece here in the opposite direction and there we have the uh, core Here's a common uh, failure point, so if we were troubleshooting this, just to open this back up and get to the uh, solder connections, where the uh, leads themselves come back to the uh, magnet wire. You can see those exposed here. And let's take a look at the uh, primary here. And you can see the uh, wire gauge is uh, much thinner. It's nothing but the coal former itself that was used. So uh, let me just go ahead and count the uh, turns. 24 and a half turns. And you can see that's the uh, secondary and it was the closest to the core. With the uh, primary being on the outside. All right, the uh, windings kept going and going underneath the uh, tape, so uh, make that a total of 71 and a half. I thought I was uh, to the end when I was at 24 and a half. Let me measure the length of this uh, magnet wire and uh, check the AWG as well.